Okay, and uh, for the last one today, I will be using Visual Boy Advance Dash M. So let's uh, open it up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I already got that open. All right. Let's reopen it. Okay. Uh, first, I'm gonna go with to options. Uh, video. Uh, this is uh, the window resolution. Select full screen mode. Select your device. Color depth. Set it to your max resolution. Max refresh rate. Okay, let's close that. Okay, and it just set the emulator to full screen mode. Uh, press the escape button to exit out of full screen mode. Uh, you're going to want to have it in full screen mode to actually start the game in full screen mode because uh, you don't, it won't start in full screen mode. It'll start the game in the window mode that uh, was closed uh, beforehand. Uh, so yeah, there's that's really the only thing you need to do for inside the emulator. So let's go ahead and close that out. Add a non-Steam game. Add Visual Boy Advance. And as you can tell, I had a few others. Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Original. So go to our generic game category properties and open up notepad okay so you've got your Game Boy uh, Advance uh, I'm using the long file system for that but uh, you don't have to so uh, you got your emulator path and your ROM path that's it so copy that in there and paste that and I'm gonna rename that to Super Mario Advance okay so uh, remember the emulator was closed in window mode so when I go ahead and press play it starts in window mode so uh, need to there we go. Okay. So it's got to be in full screen mode. And then, there we go. All right. All right. So uh, got a couple more. So let's do that. Do the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color. Again, go to Properties. Paste that in there. Okay. Play. This is for the original. Again, pretty easy stuff. That's it. That's all it takes for uh, Visual Boy Advance. So, 
Thank you for watching, and stick around for uh, more stuff.